I'm representing here the State Oil Fund of the Republic of Azerbaijan, which is a, a sovereign wealth fund of our nation. The State Oil Fund of the Republic of Azerbaijan is, uh, is one of the three components of national oil strategy. And thus, before talking about uh, oil fund and uh, oil revenue management or natural resource revenue management, I would like to talk very briefly about the national oil strategy. When Azerbaijan regained its independence, um, one of the major problems was the development of oil industry, which Azerbaijan was quite famous for. But unfortunately, at the moment, Azerbaijan lacked resources as well as expertise and, and technology necessary to develop, to develop uh, its rich hydrocarbon reserves. And as a result, the national oil strategy was designed by late President Heydar Aliyev, our national leader. The national oil strategy composed of three major components. And the first one was, uh, because we couldn't do it ourselves, we invited all the major international oil companies to come to Azerbaijan with their technology, with their uh, financial resources. And in, very, in a very short period of time, Azerbaijan managed to rapidly increase the production of oil and gas. After that, the question was what to do with that production. And obviously, the second major component was the de uh, designing and building multivectoral transportation routes in order to deliver natural resources to international markets. And again, uh, with a very quite brief period of time, Baku uh, Tbilisi Supsa, Baku Novorossiysk, and major oil pipeline, main export pipeline, Baku Tbilisi Jehan, BTC, as well as Baku Tbilisi Erzurum gas pipelines were built. That allowed Azerbaijan to start exporting its uh, energy resources to international markets. As a result, Azerbaijan started receiving significant revenues. And the next question was what to do with this significant revenues. There are many different examples all over the world and vast literature on the natural resource curse. Dutch disease, all those scary problems that many different countries around the world experienced. Advantage of our country was that we had access to that literature, to that knowledge, and could foresee potential future problems and were able to design a framework which would allow us to escape many of those traps. And the establishment of the State Oil Fund in 1999 is a third component, the natural, revenue, natural resource revenue management. The framework was designed in a way that all the revenues from oil and gas, uh, which belong to the government, were, were put directly into the state oil fund, directly into the fund, and sterilized. Because the state oil fund invests all its assets outside of the country. And then gradually use the revenues without overheating the economy and without uh, all those negative consequences that many countries around the world experienced. The State Oil Fund, as I said, was uh, established in 1999 by the decree of our national leader. And uh, at the time when it was established, uh, the amount on the management was 270 million US dollars. Right now, SOFAS is managing 35 billion dollars. In a very short period of time, the fund grew significantly. All of this money is invested outside of Azerbaijan. And just for comparison, the GDP of the country is around $70 billion. So you can imagine 50% of GDP uh, is invested outside of the country. And if that money, if there wasn't for this framework and that money was in the economy, we could have experienced significant overheating, high, infl high inflation rate, and uh, uh, national, uh, national um, uh, 
uh, exchange rate appreciation, uh, which is very bad for the economy. So the framework that was designed, and that's why I call it a part of national oil strategy, the third component, the framework of management of oil and gas revenues, is uh, based on international experience in a way which allows us to gradually use revenues without overheating the economy. Since the establishment, SOFAS also cared about its reputation as a prudent investor, but also one of the most important uh, ideas behind the creation of SOFAS was also transparency. State oil fund is managing national wealth. The money that is allocated, the natural resources of this country belong to the people of this country, and the money that is managed and accumulated and managed in SOFAS also belong to this to the people of this country. So we are accountable uh, uh, to, to the population, and that is why transparency is of utmost importance. SOFAS published SOFAS is a, a abbreviation of State Oil Fund of the Republic of Azerbaijan. SOFAS uh, is transparent in every single way possible. If you uh, go to our website, you can find any information about our activities. We hold quarterly press conferences, we disclose every single information that does not constitute uh, a confidentiality. Uh, that means almost everything. We're audited every year by international audit, and our annual reports are uh, disclosed on an annual basis and accessible on our website. In 2003, uh, Tony Blair launched a, a very important initiative called Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, EITI. And uh, Azerbaijan, at the time our uh, Vice President of, of State Oil Company, Mr. Ilham Aliyev, signed up to this initiative as one of the first countries. The, I, the whole idea behind the initiative is that the country publishes what it the government publishes what it received from oil companies, and the oil companies publish what they paid to the government. And this information is sent to an independent aggregator who gathers this information, finds the discrepancies, and publishes them. And uh, on top of that, the whole process is validated by the participation of the uh, NGOs, non-government uh, organizations. We were very successful in joining this initiative and became the first country to publish EITI report in 2005. We went through the process of validation to become the first fully compliant country with EITI standards. And Azerbaijan is uh, a leading uh, force in terms of global implementation. Today, there are more than 40 countries who participate in EITI. And it became an international standard uh, of transparency in extractive industries. Uh, and I, as a uh, executive director of SOFAS, also had the commission, the National Commission on Implementation of EITI. And if I put this in a very uh, simple words, what EITI gave to Azerbaijan is that every single citizen of Azerbaijan have access to a fully verified information on how much the government received from oil, gas, uh, bonuses, or any other revenues from oil and gas industry. This is the fullest level of transparency that can be achieved. And it's not surprising that for this activity, SOFAS was awarded United Nations Public Service Award for increasing transparency in public sectors. Now, after we have established this framework and accumulated the money, the question was what to do with that money. And obviously there was a lot of debate, as in any other country. In the parliament it was debated, uh, and some of the ideas, there were a broad range of ideas, and some of the ideas were, were that uh, let's use this money to build big factories and plants and, and provide jobs to people. But then there were wise people who said, well, we tried that for 70 years in the Soviet Union, and it didn't work. I mean, the government is a very bad businessman. It shouldn't build factories and plants. It rather should facilitate the private sector to do it. And 
I think that that debate was very helpful and now the government is using the oil fund resources in order to build infrastructure. We have invested significantly, the government invested significantly in the uh, refurbishment of the road system, gasification of the country, electri electricity, uh, power generation, and in a very short period of time, in the, for the last 10 years, we have managed to become an electricity, from an electricity importing country to become an exporting country. We had gas, access to gas only in Baku. Now it's 80% of the country. We had water uh, supply system limited to major cities. Our sewage system was existent only in three cities uh, from all the, uh, around Azerbaijan. Now it, we covered almost all, all of the country. All the major road infrastructure, road networks have been rebuilt. And only in 10 years. State oil funds money is used in accordance with uh, strict guidelines and procedures which are approved on an annual basis by the parliament and the president's administration. Uh, major areas where the money is being used, as I mentioned, is infrastructure. But apart from that, there are a number of projects that we finance directly and which are of, all, also of very uh, big importance. Every year we finance about four or five projects from State Oil Fund. One of the important projects is uh, construction of temporary settlements for refugees and IDPs. You may probably heard a lot about that, but we have a, a major conflict uh, over Nagorno-Karabakh, who's neighboring Armenia, due to which we had uh, about a million of refugees and internally displaced people. And those people were living in tent camps in the very inhuman conditions. So the first money that was used from the state oil fund was for the construction of settlements for these people. <clears throat> and when I say settlements, these are main, mainly uh, villages with houses, with schools, with hospitals, and all the necessary infrastructure. We have managed to reallocate about 100, uh, 150,000 people to new houses and we managed to eliminate all the tent camps. There are no more tent camps in Azerbaijan. Another important project, apart from infrastructure, and I, I can name Baku Tbilisi uh, Jaihan, Baku Tbilisi Cars Railroad, all these projects are being financed from the state oil fund, but one of the very important projects that I, uh, we are proud of is called uh, converting black gold into human gold. And that is that the money that the revenues from the oil are being used to finance education of young Azeris in the top universities around the world. Every year we uh, allocate uh, an amount and uh, a citizen of Azerbaijan who gets admitted to a, a university which is on the list of eligible universities and those are around 500 top universities uh, from all over the world gets full scholarship from st State Oil Fund. The only requirement is for him to return and live in Azerbaijan after graduation uh, for five years. And we believe that this is one of the best investments that uh, you can have for oil money. In brief, I would say that Azerbaijan's experience with uh, oil revenue management so far proved to be very successful. We have managed to use the money wisely on the very important projects and create the necessary conditions for the economic development. At the same time, we managed to use it wisely in preserving uh, and saving value, not only for current generations, but also for future generations and invested, uh, invested it. At the same time, we managed to uh, keep intact the macroeconomic situation in the country. And we are ready to share this experience with other countries around the world.